Hey there, everyone. DJ Williams Hill, joined by the greatest Razorback, in my opinion, of all time. Darren McFadden is here in the house. Uh, I'm assuming you're in Texas, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Down in Dallas area. Yeah, so you heard the news. Uh, Chad Morris is now fired. Uh, two years at the University of Arkansas, only four wins, 18 losses. You had the opportunity to come down and, you know, talk to Coach Morris, lead the team down the walk. And you probably kind of vibe then that it, the atmosphere wasn't the same, you know, at home games. People were already kind of checking out. You know, what were your thoughts on, you know, what he was able to do at the university or I would say lack of what he was able to do? You know, first off, I just want to say uh, I don't have anything against Coach Moore than anything. Um, I actually like the ideas that he had. You know, it just didn't play out the way that it didn't play out that way on the field. You know, um, I just feel like, you know, playing the SEC, um, you know, when you go against teams that you're supposed to beat, you got to beat them at the end of the day. And, um, you know, we, we, we couldn't get that done. And so that's just a, a terrible thing right there. And so it's something that, um, you know, it's part of football. You know, coaches come and go. And so I think it, it was it's time for a change for us. And, you know, we want to try to get back to the top where we were. Yeah, if you were to pick um, and give Coach Moore some advice, let's say the first day he was hired uh, as the Arkansas Razorback football coach, what would you tell him that he probably missed out on um, through his short two-year tenure? My thing, I'm a, I'm a homegrown kid from Arkansas, born and raised, grew up wanting to be a Razorback my whole life. And, you know, um, I feel like that's something that, you know, I think we missed out on a lot of guys, letting a lot of guys get away out of the state. You know, going to different colleges and universities. Um, I, I definitely feel like um, even with me and you alike, you know, be, both being from Arkansas, um, just being able to play there. You know, the majority of the time when we had those good teams up there, you know, the core group of guys were from Arkansas, and so you know, you always going to have guys from out of state to come in and uh, contribute and everything. But you know, I feel like you know, it's different when you have those guys from the state. They're more passionate about the Razorback football and everything and so I, I feel like that's something that we really missed out on a lot. Yeah I saw your tweet I, I believe that was today if I remember correct and you you almost reached out to almost all the players right now in high school football in the state of Arkansas saying hey guys y'all got an opportunity to help rebuild this program rebuild your home what would you say to some Arkansas athletes right now that you know have the opportunity to play there that may be thinking about going somewhere else? Definitely so, you know, um, like I say, being homegrown, being from the state of Arkansas, it's, it's, it's passionate. You know, you, you care about the Razorbacks. You want to be a Razorback. You want to put that Cardinal in red, on Cardinal in white on, you know, and go up there and play on the hill. You know, that's for me, Um, even going into my, um, when I was recruited by Arkansas, the year I went there, we were 4-7 and seven the year before. And so I went, I walked into a 4-7 and seven team. And, and so just to be able to go up there and help turn their program around, you know, I think that's something that, that a lot of these guys from the state that we can use those guys, you know, definitely turn it around. You're not going to go up there and get the glimmer and glance of some of the other teams like the LSUs and the Alabamas and things. But, you know, to be a part of turning the program around, that was something I, I took a lot of pride in. You know, it's lucky that we had a guy like you who just knew you wanted to be a hog from day one. But there are a couple other athletes that do have the opportunity to go to all these other schools. And what is very important, I think, in a coaching staff is to have coaches that – not only are good at X's and O's, but that can relate to players and get these recruits to get here. You had a guy, you know his name, Danny Nutt. He'll walk in there and make you feel like you're the most important person on the planet. Houston was the same way, brought in a guy like Tim Horton, you know, an Arkansas product. Moving forward, you know, where do you, is there any name out there, anybody you would like to see kind of be back in the program to help us rebuild and rebuild quick? You know, at the end of the day, I'm a Houston Nut guy, man. You know? So that's, that's a guy that I love right there. You know, I can throw that name around a thousand times, you know, but it may fall on deaf ears. But, you know, um, I just want to see the program back to a, a successful program, you know, just to get us back to the point where we're actually competing in the SEC and winning games. And, you know, we were probably owing however many in SEC games in the last couple of years. And yep. so, you know, just to be able to see the program get back to where it was and contribute and, um, and be a competitor, man. Yeah, so Barry Lunny, he's taken over as interim head coach. You know, he played at Arkansas. He was a quarterback, Arkansas boy. You know, I'm thinking, I'm not sure what's going to happen in the future, but if he takes over, like, maybe a quarterback role, I already put my name in the hat. Maybe I want to hold down the tight ends. If there was a potential possibility, and they called Darren McFadden himself and say, hey, would you want to come help us out at running back, what would you do? I'm an Arkansas kid, man, so it's in me already, man. I, I definitely would agree to that right there. <laughs> oh, man, y'all heard it first. You're going to have everybody right now vying to make sure Dan McFadden is a running back coach at the University of Arkansas. Recruiting would be easy. We'd have the best in the land. Once again, thanks so much, Darren. Now you're in Texas. Thank you for taking your time. And uh, as always, man, the, whoever the next coach is, they got to bring that wood. Definitely appreciate it, brother.